Since its launch in 2008 as Ghana's flagship program of a national social protection strategy, the Livelihood Empowerment Against Poverty LEAP program has enabled the poorest families in the country to meet their basic needs, be healthier, enroll their children in school as well as improve their attendance and adopt strategies to pull themselves out of poverty. In order to tackle extreme poverty and achieve the United Nations Millennium Development Goals MDGs, the Government of Ghana has in recent years adopted a number of initiatives including the launch of a National Social Protection Strategy. The strategy, which represents the Government of Ghana's vision of creating an all-inclusive society through the provision of sustainable mechanisms for the protection of persons living in situations of extreme poverty, vulnerability and exclusion, consists of three main components designed to tackle extreme poverty. The establishment of a new social grant scheme to provide a basic and secure income for the most vulnerable households, better poverty targeting of existing social protection programs, and a package of complementary inputs for beneficiaries of social protection programs. The Livelihood Empowerment Against Poverty program is run and managed by the Department of Social Welfare under the Ministry of Gender, Children and Social Protection. The objective of LEAP is to reduce poverty in Ghana and to cushion poor households. It is a cash grant that is given to certain households in Ghana to supplement and enable them cater for their food, shelter and clothing. It empowers the extremely poor, vulnerable persons and disadvantaged persons in our society. These are orphans, persons aged above 65 years and severely disabled persons. This is how it runs. We have the beneficiaries in the communities and we have households and the head of the household. For us in Ghana, preferably the female head of the household is giving an amount of money at the end of two months to cater for beneficiaries in their household. The lead grants to the beneficiaries depend on the number of beneficiaries in the household. One beneficiary in a household is entitled to 24 Ghana CDs for the bi-monthly payment. Two beneficiaries in a household receive 30 Ghana CDs, while three beneficiaries in a household receive 36 Ghana CDs and four beneficiaries receive 45 Ghana CDs. Leave started in March 2008 where the government of Ghana disbursed cash to 1,640 beneficiaries. Currently, we are disbursing cash grants to 74,347 households. And this translates into 223,000 individuals in communities in Ghana. 99 districts are covered by our LEAP program and we have 7,860 persons with disability currently on the LEAP program. Apart from this, once you are a beneficiary under LEAP, you are automatically entitled to free health care and free registration under the National Health Insurance Scheme. An impact analysis has been conducted and in fact LEAP is one of the best social protection interventions within the African region. It has helped in terms of the nutritional needs of beneficiaries, it has also helped with health care and it has increased school enrollment and school retention for children of LEAP 
households. Well, we are currently in Bapakebanu, a community in the central Tong district of a Volta region, where we're going to be interacting with some of the lead beneficiaries to find out how the program has positively impacted their lives. But one may ask, how does one get enrolled onto the LEAP program? First of all, there are certain regions, according to the Ghana Statistical Service, that are poverty endemic. So this forms the baseline. Thereafter, we have community committees that help identify the poverty indicators. Afterwards, these identified persons fill out a questionnaire. The questionnaire is then ranked and those who qualify as vulnerable poor are selected and given a LEAP ID card. Let's now meet Rebecca, a beneficiary. My name is Elo Rebecca. I have 19 children under my care. Some of the children are the children of my late brother who passed away some years ago. His wife is mentally challenged, so I have taken care of their children. In addition to that, my sister and, uh, and her husband also live in Nakosobo now because there is no school in the village where they are staying. Uh, I ask them to bring their children down to me so that I will be taking care of them and send them to school also here. In addition to that, my children also. Now, uh, my husband also passed away some years ago, so all these children are under my care. But with this leave grants, looking at the money, it is not much. So I decided to invest it into agriculture. Sometimes I cultivate pepper and sometimes maize. If I use it to buy food, it will, it will not take us anywhere. That's why I decided to invest it into the agriculture. So now, this is what I'm doing to take care of the children. Well, here at Osobri in the Gasau municipality in the greater Accra region, we have been interacting with Mary Donko, a beneficiary of the LEAP program. According to Mary, the LEAP program has helped her to put up this structure, which is a store, and she has been able to acquire things that she is going to be selling. But like all the other beneficiaries are saying, and as we say, Oliver asks for more, Mary is pleading that the LEAP grant be increased so that they can expand their petty trading. Beneficiaries are paid bi-monthly through the National Postal Service Agency, Ghana Post. However, the Ministry is piloting the Electronic Payment System, or the e-payment system. Currently, we are implementing a novelty. What was happening was that at the end of the two months or as and when LEAP cash grants are to be disbursed, the monies are paid in cash and given to the beneficiaries and carers of the elderly in our community. Now we are piloting e-payment. We're using electronic means and e-money for purposes of paying our beneficiaries. This is being piloted in seven regions and in nine districts. Within the coastal belt, it's being piloted in Gas South, in Nzima East, and in Keta in the Volta region. Within the middle belt is Asante Akim North, Techiman, and Kwewu West. And then the northern belt is Sabuba, Zabzugu, and West Gonja. For payments from the 2nd of December, 2013, we are going to use, for purposes of MTN, which is a service provider, they have given mobile phones to the beneficiaries. 
so the monies will be loaded on to the mobile phone. IR Technologies and eSwitch are also service providers. These are the three service providers. Why do we want to avoid payment of cash? There are several reasons. For one, we want to inculcate the saving culture. We also want to make sure that the money that we are giving as a government to Ghanaians whom we want to help because we're a social democratic government, this money is actually given to beneficiaries. Because if cash is given, sometimes there are leakages. It's also faster because as soon as the money is loaded on, you will get a signal on your mobile phone or your plastic card. It will also help because now the trend, the global trend, is the cashless social protection system. So this will help. It will also reduce traveling time because now we don't have to mobilize, go to a community, be the gong gong and get uh, everybody assembled at a point. When the payment is due, you just get a beep and you get the notice on your mobile phone or your e-card. So this is Old Bapa, where we have some leap beneficiaries. Usually when they have to take their monies, they cross over to Adidome, which is the cash point. So they, they gather themselves here in the boat and cross over. And so when we are able to do this electronic payment, which we are piloting in some communities, what it means is that these beneficiaries will no longer have to travel all this journey. They wouldn't have to trek because the monies are going to be on the plastic cards. And at any time they want to access the monies, they can do that. And in fact, that is one of the objectives of the electronic payment. Most of these impacts have been felt particularly strongly in smaller families, that is with four members or less, and those headed by women. However, LEAP has also had an impact beyond individual families as LEAP enables beneficiaries to purchase items in the local economy. These achievements notwithstanding, it must be noted that the impact of the program has been limited primarily as a result of the following factors. Irregular payments due to delayed receipt of funds at the central level, the relatively small number of targeted families in each community, and a weak linkage to other pro-poor interventions. There is an urgent need to take steps to ensure that the impacts already achieved are not only deepened, but also have a lasting effect on the lives of a greater number of beneficiaries. As a social democratic government, we are very committed to ensuring that we cater for the needs of the people of Ghana.